Good afternoon, it's Jeff at Budrum. I want to do another observation beehive update. Quite a long chain of events happened since my last update. To refresh your memory, this hive is ready to swarm. And I made a bit of a mistake. I took all the brood out of it. At the end of that video, I took the last frame of brood out and left them with a sheet of foundation and two empty frames with a little bit of comb with a few eggs in it. That wasn't enough to hold the bees in the box. The bees decided they were going to swarm and they did. I was just lucky that I was home that day and Wilma, Wilma came outside and saw this big heap of bees flying around so she called me. And it was just a matter of luck that I had some petrol in the chainsaw. Because normally I run the chainsaw dry. You might say, oh why do you use the chainsaw? What the chainsaw does, if you've got your bees in the air and they're swarming, you want to make a lot of noise. So you've got two choices. You can either get an empty drum and bang on the empty drum, or you can make it a noise with the chainsaw. At 8.30 on a Sunday morning, if you start banging on an empty drum, the neighbours will be wondering what's going on. At least if you start the chainsaw, the neighbours might be a bit annoyed, but at least they know you're going to do a bit of work with the chainsaw. I fired up the chainsaw and got a lot of noise going and they quickly settled because what the noise does, it prevents the bees from hearing the queen. They settled straight away. So I was just lucky they settled on a, a low tree out the front. I was able to get them into a box. Yeah, while I'm talking you might be able to watch a few bee dances and that sort of thing. I still wanted to use this observation hive to do a bee talk, which I did last Thursday and it went well. And I still wanted the people to actually see the queen bee. To get the bees to stay in the, in the hive, I used a frame of brood out of the other hive I have in my yard, which is a, a fairly strong hive. The bees had only just built and I had some beautiful young larvae that still hadn't been capped over. So I put that in the hive to hold the bees in that hive. After a few days I took that frame out with the queen and put it in this box thinking I had uh, enough bees in here to to do the bee talk. But two days later I had a look and there was hardly any bees in there so what happened is the queen stayed behind with only just a few bees and the rest made their way back to the box at the, at the front of the house. In the meantime, to strengthen the hive out the front, I grabbed four frames of sealed brood from a strong hive out at the lychee farm and put them in there so they had provision to be able to make themselves a new queen. I was a bit worried about not enough bees in there to keep the brood warm so I, I took one of those four frames with sealed brood and put it back into this one. It wasn't full of sealed brood, it was probably about half full of sealed brood and I, every day I have a look and watch the bees chewing their way out. Didn't take long before their numbers increased. The population was too big. <laughs> the population was too big in this observation hive for me to take it down and show these seniors the hive and see the queen at the same time. Now, the day before I did the talk, I decided to take the two outside frames out of this one, making sure that the queen wasn't on there, and start off a third hive. You know, two frames sort of half covered in bees. Bearing in mind it already had some eggs on the comb. I took two frames out of the honey section from our strong hive, and one frame covered in bees out of the hive in the at the front gate. But what I'm going to do is show you the frame that came out of the hive at the front gate as well as the frame that I took out of this hive. The hive at the front gate uh, has already made themselves the queen so I haven't seen any evidence of any egg laying yet but I'll have a look at that in a few days. I'll light the smoker and I'll show you these frames. Right so I've got the frames out. I've got the both frames to show you. Now this is the one, this is the frame I took out of the hive at the front gate. If you want to make a new hive you can take equal numbers of frames out of each hive. You can take covered in bees. As long as you've got some newly laid eggs 
and put them in a strange box that hasn't got the odour of any of those bees in it just join them together and then they'll call a truce they won't fight with each other because you've got equal numbers and then what they'll do straight away is they'll, they'll realise that they haven't got a queen and they'll start making their own queen so in this case you can see obviously the queen has chewed her way out the, the, the young queen has chewed her way out of that cell now over here the queen hasn't chewed her way out she's been killed so what happens is the other queen comes along and chews the side out of the frame and kills the, the young queen so I don't know how many other queen cells there were but uh, there's two on this frame now the other thing I did with the the hive where I added the three basically three frames to I closed them in so I made sure that the lid was ventilated and I locked them in for about three days so I saw this strategy on the internet so you lock them in for three days and then before you open up the entrance just put a couple of branches in front of the entrance and then the bees will reorientate themselves with that area and then they won't go back to the old hives now I'm just going to put this back in the hive and I'll show you the other frame. Now I have two frames here. These are the two outside frames I took from the observation hive. You can see where they've converted one of the newly laid eggs that I talked about into a queen cell. And you can see over here there's another one. Oh yeah, here we go. So you can see there's uh, three cells that were just that would have been workers they've converted them into queen cells and they're making queens and you can see one on the other side of this frame so they're busy working on making the uh, queens there this is the other frame that didn't have have much on it but they're still making two queens there this uh, third hive is busy making themselves a queen I'm working on my own here Wilma's out with her father so so there's a third hive there before I put the lid back on again. So there's the one at the front gate there. I have to close it in one night and take it down to, where, to my main bee site. And I'll take the other one down there too. Out of hives that are really strong, just out of out a few frames of sealed brood and it won't take long and they'll be full strength hives. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye.